Kia ora and welcome back. We just visited some amazing businesses in Queenstown. Now we're on our way to Timaru, Ashburton and Christchurch with a quick stop off in beautiful Lake Tikapo. So my name is Josh Rushton and uh, around 18 months ago Emily and myself came up with the vision of a better solution for equine nutrition. We wanted to be transparent, we wanted to be able to grow the stuff at home, we wanted to be able to bring it into Ashburton and we wanted to handcraft it and handbag it and, and get it out to the end consumer and provide the whole service. Yeah, it was a bit of a wild idea but we've really been enjoying the journey. So Josh grows about 80% of the ingredients on his farm, which is about half an hour from Ashburton. The Canary region is very unique uh, to, to be an area to farm in. We can take our customers to the paddocks where the produce is growing, and we can show you the whole process. So this product is 100% New Zealand made, and I grow nearly all the ingredients that go into it. it looks yummy, you could almost eat it yourself. Yeah. Our products are unique because they are not treated with any chemicals or steam flaked. They are just raw materials. They, they go through a simple process through a kibbler where, where the grain is cracked to make the product more palatable and digestible to horses. From there we have a warehouse in Ashburton where the product is distributed throughout New Zealand and we're just shy of 40 stores throughout the country now. So this is our storage facility and distribution centre. Yeah, we pride ourselves on on being able to make feed one day and deliver it the next. Uh, this feed here this was only made yesterday. It gives us a great pleasure when we get feedback from someone we've never met in the North Island or, or someone from, from right down south. They'll send in some pictures of their animal and they've had some great success. The animal's improved in its well-being, its overall health. They've seen big differences in how it's been performing and that's really nice to hear that sort of feedback. So we, we started organically through social media, Facebook and Instagram. 2020 was a, a quite a tricky year for us. We were six months into business, so we were able to really promote on social media our story, our products. We had giveaways, we, we, we had sent us in a pic of you riding your horse and what you're up to for lockdown, and we really took it as an opportunity where it could have been a, a real blow, a real pain in the neck where we're like, oh man, we're just getting going. But we thought, no, well, let's try and turn this into a positive and see what we can make out of it. So the Hikio name came from, it's actually the road that I live on, and it's a, it's a Maori word for Hines River. So the Hines River is a local river just south of Ashburton here. And there's a north and a south branch of the Hines River, which is depicted here. And then we've got a, a, a mountain range behind us. So that's sort of a bit of a, represents the area. Being 100% using made and growing is a huge advantage, I believe. I think there's been a real turn recently in the last couple of years, especially around COVID, of that traceability. Paddock to plate, field to feed bowl, where's our feed coming from? We can provide a fully transparent, what you see is what you get, sort of a solution to nutrition. She's like a little dog, this one. She's so funny. Hi. Mwah. You want dinner? Well, I'm an equestrian myself and I want to know where the feed comes from. I want to know, are they from overseas or are they from New Zealand? Because ultimately we want to support New Zealand made in a lot of aspects in life. And I think it's really unique that we, we can say that we can provide that to the equestrians in New Zealand. <laughs> you guys get fed too well. Basalt is definitely unique. We find it all over the world, all over the country, wherever there's been a volcanic activity, there is lava flow. That's what basalt is. I've been in Rome, I've been in Belgium where there's bluestone as well, and I haven't found a material as beautiful as ours. And we call it Timaru bluestone. I'm Rene Kempf, and I'm from Timaru, born in Timaru, and I started up a business in 1995, so I was a brick and block layer, learned the trade with my father and an opportunity came when I started up in business actually to manufacture products for upgrading the main street in Timaru. And from there the business has, has grown. So in the early days, before similar but inferior products started getting imported, we did a lot of streetscapes. 
but in the last few years we've really pushed into the high-end uh, residential, so architectural homes. We do process a bit of stone from elsewhere, like there, in the back there, they're actually slabs of Panamu. So yeah, my wife, wife's involved, she, she looks after the staff and, and picks up goods and runs around. And I've actually got three children and they're all working here, they've gone away and, and done their study. They're all on the tools as well, they're all hands on. We, we extract the rock from the quarry face and then we select what we think is good material for us to process. And those large billets and rocks are then brought to our fabrication plant by truck and then from that then they go under some big saws which cut to the various thicknesses that we require. So this is where most of the fabrication happens, after it's already become slabs. And then it goes through calibration and surface finishing, and then it's all trimmed to size, packed and ready for, for dispatch. We are being as environmentally friendly as we can. In the processing, all the water gets recycled, the waste material gets used for filling in areas down on the port. The dust sometimes actually gets put on the land because it's a basically basalt dust is a natural fertiliser. By New Zealand made, I jumped on board I don't know how many years ago. We're proud of the fact that the stone's from Timaru, but we're also proud of the fact that it's from New Zealand. It's a New Zealand sourced, it's New Zealand processed. We could have quarried the material and sent it overseas for processing, but we look to do all our manufacturing within New Zealand. I enjoy what I do. Sometimes it's quite stressful. You're either flat out on with a crazy amount of projects or it can, you know, can dry off and you're wondering where the next one's coming. From, but I think what we're trying to do is do justice to a material that God has delivered right on our doorstep. We love supplying a high quality product to New Zealand, to the customers in New Zealand. Well I hope you enjoyed hearing about Hikio and Timaru Bluestone. Next up we're off to Christchurch where we're going to be featuring some really cool businesses that are making a substantial difference in their communities. So I hope you'll stay with us on this journey as we showcase the best of what New Zealand has to offer. We'll see you soon.